Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and in today's episode, I'm going to do another uh, special definition episode, okay? And the word today is going to be, or the phrase I'm going to say, uh, or the concept today is going to be the, is known as the Shikaru Genji Project. Okay, so, what does it mean? Okay, well, Shikaru Genji by itself means the Shining Genji, and Genji being the, uh, the, you know, the, the Emperor uh, Genji from uh, Japanese history, okay? Now, the whole entire concept of, you know, Shikaru Genji is also, by uh, name, uh, a very uh, famous uh, Japanese J-pop band. Now, I'll get into the implications of music and the, uh, how Shikaru Genji project works um, a little later, okay? Because, um, again, also another reference I'll use is the, you know, the anime Genji itself, uh, is also an animation uh, version of the, you know, the Emperor of Genji. Um, but again, uh, the Genji spawned another particular phrase, which I will uh, get into the meaning in a separate episode, okay? So, but today's episode, I'm going to concentrate on the word Shikaru Genji, okay? And um, what it's also referred to as, you know, the Shikaru Genji Project. Now, the story goes uh, from history is uh, that you know, uh, the Emperor Genji was basically, you know, th you know, taking over different parts of Japan. And he goes into this, uh, basically, village uh, and basically finds this young girl. And he basically rescues the girl from uh, the village and basically brings it, you know, into his, um, you know, palace. And there, he basically raises her up and then basically, once she becomes of age, then he goes and marries her, okay? And so this whole entire, you know, basically, uh, you know, grooming a bride uh, is the whole entire, you know, uh, concept of the Shikaru Genji project. Now, again, it can happen the other way around. It could be like, a, you know, um, uh, you know, a princess or whatever taking a, uh, you know, a younger uh, boy and basically raising him. And then basically once he gets, you know, in age, then, you know, they can uh, get married or whatever. So it happens, can happen the other way around uh, as well. But in this particular case, uh, you know, the uh, biggest anime uh, that uh, references this is from uh, City Hunter. Uh, and in particular, the Miki episode. So this is City Hunter 2, episodes uh, 39 and 40, where basically um, Miki um, basically is associated with Inubozu, okay? And again, very quickly, uh, the story is that um, uh, uh, Yumibozu when he was part of the uh, the military, basically was uh, basically you know was going through this basically town, finds this young girl, um, and basically uh, you know you know friends you know befriends her and teaches her how to survive in the you know in the in the war torn area, you know teaching her different skills and that kind of stuff and whatnot, and then basically um, you know the, when it was time for uh, you know uh, Yumi Bozu's um, troops. To move out of the uh, you know the military zone, um, you know uh, he promised that uh, he would take uh, Mickey with him. But of course, right at the very last moment, he basically gave her a uh, you know a farewell letter and basically left her there. And basically, he goes and disappears. And so this episode, he, uh, Mickey manages to find Jimmy Bozo again, and uh, then basically you know uh, you know wants him to you know finish his promise of you know to marry her. Okay, so uh, this is where Yo coins the term, ah, you have started your Shikaru Genji project, okay? And so this is one of the key animes that, 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 that coins that particular phrase. And again, this isn't the only anime that, uh, you, you know, that has this particular uh, you know, concept, uh, nor does it, uh, this uh, concept also happen in real life. So outlined by Yo uh, in the City Hunter episode, the whole entire concept is to basically make the girl fall in love with you when you're young, and she's young, so that, you know, as you go older, uh, you know, she gets older at the same time, and then basically when she comes to the right age, then you're able to then marry her um, when, you know, she becomes the right age, right? So the whole entire concept is just like, uh, you know, planting a flower, and then waiting until the flower blooms, and then you, when she, you know, when the, when the flower becomes, you know, the proper bloom, then you can go and pick the flower, okay? That's the whole entire concept of the Shikaru Genji project. Okay, so um, let's you know go, go, uh, you know turn this around full circle and talk about the Shikaru Genji band as well as the you know, the reference to music. So instead, 
of trying to explain the you know uh, the reference to the band Shikaru Genji, let's try to use a more modern example, something that you can associate with. Okay, so the example I'm going to use is Justin Bieber. Okay, and as you know, the Justin Bieber is a very famous and very popular uh, you know music singer. Okay, so what he what the uh, uh, what he did. Um, in the early days of uh, you know m you know music video stations and reality TV shows, um, he made what they refer to as a uh, a reality TV show called uh, a date with Justin Bieber. Okay, and this is basically where a lot of basically female fans are able to you know write in their letters and that kind of stuff, trying to win a date with Justin Bieber. So of course you know here you've got you know, uh, you know, an audience which is captivated by you, Justin Bieber, and uh, you have this opportunity to go on a date with all these girls, okay, and, and then, you know, allow you to apply, you know, his influence on these girls, okay, uh, and then basically, you know, as time passes, you know, he gets older, you know, they get older, and then now, if, in theory, okay, allegedly, if you wanted to, he could now go back and say, okay, I'm available, I'm looking to, you know, you know, to, you know, to, to, to build a family or whatever. And then all of a sudden, you got all these girls who are basically, you know, fans of him. Now, all of a sudden, knowing that, hey, he's still available, you know, this is my chance, right? So this is basically, you know, how he could complete the cycle of the Shikaru Genji project, okay? So, you know, uh, I'm sure that, you know, this is, uh, you know, not politically correct or, you know, not, um, you know, uh, you know, just say, you know, socially, you know, uh, you know, kosher in many ways, but this is how the concept would work and, uh, you know, and would be basically uh, be able to be executed in this particular fashion, okay? Again, this is a bit uh, theoretical on how it, it, it could be uh, done in, the, in, in a modern day time, okay, to illustrate what the Shikaru Genji project is, okay? So, what you want to do right now is you want to go right below and you want to click like and you want to click subscribe because I want to get into more definitions of these, you know, sort of, sort of eccentric uh, uh, Japanese words, including, of course, you know, the, the, the another uh, definition of the word Genji and what that uh, particular has uh, uh, in that particular anime uh, for reference, okay? So, definitely, you want to subscribe and uh, tune into those episodes when I make them, okay? So, until next time, see you again.